right, what's up you guys? Okay, so like the title says, I am taking a month off of work and actually it's a little bit more than a month and it is paid and so I wanted to touch on that for you guys because I've talked about my 24 hour shifts uh, but I wanted to lay out advantages of the 24 hour shifts that I take advantage of and that a lot of my colleagues take advantage of as well. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, this is Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I know you guys are like, what? How are you taking a month off of work? Are you still even a trauma PA? <laughs> Yes, I'm still a PA. I am taking PTO time to do this month off of work and I'm really excited about it because I've been working like a dog and um, I need a break. And so I wanted to touch on the beauties of the 24 hour shift. And this is one of the beauties, being able to take a large amount of PTO, um, you know, still get paid for it. You're taking time off, but you're still getting paid for it. Uh, and you're able to just kind of spend you know, time doing the various different things that you want to do. So as I've told you guys before, I work three shifts in a 14 day period. So three 24 hour shifts in a 14 day period. So if I go in on a Sunday at like 6.30 in the morning, I may leave the, the following Monday around like eight or 8.30 in the morning. So a little bit more than 24 hours just because there are things that you have to do like sign out to your oncoming PAs, you know, talk to the attendings about any overnight events, um, just kind of wrap up some of the things from the night that you may not have had time to do because you had traumas those kind of things so it will take about like 24 26 hours in that day and then you might do it again on like a Wednesday or Thursday um, you know so my colleagues uh, do it like Sunday uh, Saturday Monday uh, but you have these long stretches in between or sometimes short uh, depending on what you're looking at in terms of time off that you get so how am I able to take a month off um, of work and and still be full-time some of you may be asking well let me tell you how so as I just gave you that layout of how I'm able to work like a Sunday and then a Tuesday and then maybe even a Thursday like I worked this this past week where I front loaded all of my shifts so from Friday to the following like Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday it really depends on when I start um, I can have that time off well a lot of us do that quite often so when we either front load or even scatter our shifts where we're back and loaded, uh, we have this huge, sometimes a week off of work, sometimes even a little bit longer depending on how you schedule your shifts, to just kind of go on vacations and do whatever it is that you want to do. So I can take like a week or a five day vacation in the middle of my work schedule because my schedule is Sunday, Sunday, Thursday. So I have like seven to eight days to actually go travel or just kind of rejuvenate and it's really been like becoming more and more apparent to me the necessity I guess you could say taking time to rejuvenate yourself and you know just kind of recuperate after dealing with you know the trauma aspect of things because it can take not only like a mental toll on you but an emotional toll depending on the types of traumas that you're seeing coming in so because of that I haven't really taken any PTO time and for my job, and I'm sure it is for other jobs as well, but for my job, uh, we cannot bank our PTO in terms of like rolling it over to, um, you know, I don't know, like another two years or in, you know, cashing it out. Like there are only certain times throughout the year right now where we can cash it out before there would be like, there were some of my colleagues that had been working at my current place of employment for years and they had like hundreds of PTO built up. For me, I had a couple hundred built up uh, because I just never took any time off because I didn't need to. But if you don't use it, you lose it in terms of like, I can no longer bank any more PTO. I can no longer collect my PTO. So why not use it? So that is what I'm doing. I'm using my PTO. And that is one of the beauties of the 24 hour shifts is that you're able to take time off without taking paid time off. And then you can kind of stock up on this paid time off to just be able to like have a really good 
vacation, a good time off, and I am going to enjoy it. The second thing that I love about the 24 hour shift is the time that you get to spend with your family. So like I said, this all again breaks down to the schedule. If I'm only working three days in a 14 day period, there's 11 days out of a two week period that I get to spend with my kids um, and my husband. And it's pretty funny because they're like, oh, like on any day that I'm going to work, they're like, what, you're going to work? You have to go to work? And I'm like, yo, like you do realize that the average person goes to work every day of the week, like five days a week sometimes even six days a week. Um, the fact that I'm only going a max of two days a week is like a blessing. So you gotta count your blessings. Um, but they don't know any different, right? This is all they've known in terms of how I've worked, you know, and, and what in terms of what they can remember because they're still kind of young. So uh, it's funny, but um, I like that. I like the fact that they want to be around me and I like the fact that I get to spend time with them because that's really why I went into this profession in the first place. And I'm just really grateful that I got a position and a job and a career that affords me the opportunity to not only help others and you know fulfill that passion that I have, but at the same time, be able to be present and at home with my kids. Now granted, like after you're coming off of a 24 hour shift, you're kind of zonked, you're really tired. So there may be like a stretch of like, four hours there that you're sleeping but if your kids are in school and you sleep through the day you'll be able to be with them up you know in the evening when they come home from school um, and into the night versus uh, now as it is in the summertime where they're like oh you know let's play let's do this and you're like oh I'm so tired like give me just like two three hours uh, but you definitely have to just take that recovery uh, day slash recovery hours to just get back into the swing of things after a 24-hour shift it's all about like almost like compartmentalizing like you know getting everything done all at once and then you know you don't have to worry about it later and so it's the same thing with this job like you kind of get 24 hours almost a full um 40 hour week out of the way already in one shift and then you don't have to worry about it for like three or four shifts um sometimes even seven uh, depending on how your schedule and then you go from there so hopefully this kind of gives you a little bit more insight into the 24 hour shift. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna, well, no, I do know exactly like what I'm gonna be doing and I might take you guys along on some of those journeys um, that I'm gonna be taking this month, but I'm gonna be enjoying myself and I'm gonna be like planning and making some content for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, like my video, follow me on Instagram at it on the PA and on Instagram at get that C university where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next time.